Andrew says, I failed reg twice, but raised my score 10 points to a 74 after buying the 10 point combo. Hey, 10 points, 10 point combo. There you go. Would you suggest, I need to come up with a 15 point combo. <laughs> Would you suggest watching the review course videos again and taking the notes or redoing the ninja notes and listening to the ninja audio? I plan to hit the multiple choice questions either way. Uh, ninja notes, ninja audio, you have them. Good option. Use those to fill in your downtime. The biggest mistake people make when they score like a 74, which is like close but no cigar like you did, is that they don't do exactly what they did before. They they take a shortcut. They just work a bunch of multiple choice questions or they think like the ninja notes only is going to get them over the proverbial, proverbial, with a proverbial hump. I'm not going to edit that out. Um, and uh, so... And so what they do is they end up scoring less than a 74 and they're like, dude. Um, and so what you do, you do exactly what you did before. And then more multiple choice questions, more ninja notes. If you're driving in your car, make sure you have that ninja audio on and not, not the uh, ESPN radio app, which I'm a fan of. And uh, I mean, 74. Okay, do exactly what you did before, but like, okay, it's reg. So, okay, you know what what sections you don't want to study for, what sections you hate. So like like AMT, okay, let's dig into AMT. Like kind exchanges uh, where there's a mortgage involved, mortgage swap involved. Okay, um, so let's, let's dig into that. Um, 1231, 1245, 1250 assets. You weren't entirely sure, you... Give it the old college try on the exam. Score 74. Let's go over those intensively.